In this video, I'd like to talk more about the Koch snowflake. And remember from the introduction video on fractals that this is a fractal, a self-similar object that has fractional dimension. And one of the interesting things about this snowflake is that the perimeter, the length around the outside of this object is infinity. It has an infinite perimeter, but the area of this object, the space that it takes up on the inside, this is a finite number. And in this video and the next couple videos, I'd like to look at that further. I'd like to prove that the perimeter is infinite and that the area is finite. In fact, we can find a formula for the area. But remember that this shape is essentially formed from equilateral triangles. You can imagine seeing that there is an equilateral triangle in the center of this. And to create the snowflake, we essentially carry out a simple process, but repeat that process infinitely many times to create this final shape here. And before we look at the perimeter, let's just remind ourselves of what that process is. So you can see here, this is our starting shape. We start with an equilateral triangle. And what we'll do to create the snowflake is take each of these side lengths, and these are all equal side lengths because it's an equilateral triangle, and we'll split these into three equal pieces. And in the center of each of these three sections, we will replace the center section with an equilateral triangle. In fact, we're actually just removing this here. So after we carry out this on each side, this green part here is not actually a part of the shape anymore. But we'll do that on each of these sides, and that will be the first step. So we can call this step zero, the starting point, and this will be step one after each of the original sides was split into three and this equilateral triangle was put in the center for each of these original sides. And then from here, we will just repeat that same process. Each of these side lengths will then be split into three pieces and an equilateral triangle will replace that middle piece. And we'll do that for each of these side lengths. And of course, this can be a little bit tricky to draw by hand, but if you let computer software draw it, we can get a much better image. And replacing all of these middle sections on these side lengths with equilateral triangles leads to this image right here, which we can call step two. And for step three, we'll just repeat that exact same process. Each of these side lengths now, we will split into three equal pieces. And in the middle piece, we will replace that with equilateral triangles. And the image to the bottom right here, which we can call step three, this is what that process will look like. And of course, this process will be carried out infinitely many times. And the final resulting product of that is what we call the Coke snowflake. Remember that Coke is a mathematician that this snowflake is named after.